let me show you how to create a glass morphism effect in Corel Draw. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, in case you're new, my name is Jim. All right, so um, I know some of you might have seen this kind of effect in multiple designs or designs you've seen elsewhere, but you don't know or you find it difficult to create. Now, let me show you how to get it in Corel Draw. This is an already made design. Now, this is the effect, similar effect. Now, this is the one I created, right, for a design which um, I'm going to post later, but not now, right? I just want to show you how to create this particular glass effect, right? So you can see you're seeing through the background. So if you change the color, change the color of this, you can see it's still there. If you change the color to, let's say, blue, um, okay, there's a background there, that's why, but let me remove the background. Let me remove the background so you see what I'm talking about. All right, so you can see, you can see, if you change it to another color, you will see it there. So now, this is the one I want to just, you know, explain to you. Now, come over to this. Let's assume this is your design and this is your background and everything, and you want to create that effect. Now, come over to your um, rectangle tool. Um, draw this way, all right. So once you do that, make sure your fill is removed. Make sure there's no color. What I mean by fill is make sure there's no color. This one is fill, and this the light the line outside the fill is a stroke or an outline. That is what it's called, right? Now you can choose to give it a white outline, a yellow outline, but let's make use of um light yellow because of the background we have. Now let me zoom out. And I'll convert my shape tool on my um, tools bar. Then select your rectangle tool. Now you will see this four anchor points over here. Do you understand? In case you don't understand, that means you're not subscribed to my channel. Now you see these two uh, four anchor points you're seeing here. Select any of them, then drag to make it a round corner shape. Do you understand? You can select or drag to make it a round corner shape. Now, come back to your um, sh um, shadow tool and go to your shadow preset on your property bar. Remember, I told you in Corel Draw, every tool here have its own property bar. Once you click on it, it will bring this bar for you. Now, come back to this preset on your top left hand corner side, on top there. You can see where my mouse is. Select it and look for inner glow. This is the one you should look for. And once you click on it, you will see the effect I've applied. But for you to get the, you know, the exact effect, first of all, let me remove this outline. Now you can see it a little bit. So to increase it to get more, to, to be more visible, you see this line over here, drag it to this part. You can see it. You can drag it to this edge, but that is too much. Depend on anyhow you want it to appear. You can just play with that, um... That stuff you're seeing there, I don't know the name, but you shall you shall understand. You see this bomb you're seeing here? Uh -huh. So just use it and play with it. You can play with it. You can see it is actually coming up and coming out. So now this is it. Do you understand? This is it. Now let me come over to this. You can actually select this is the one I've made as a thumbnail for you guys. But you can see you can actually bring a a a light flare. Add it. You can add the light flare to it just this way. You know how to get a light a light flare, right? If you don't know how to get a light flare, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll make a video for you guys on how to get or download a light flare. Now um, you can just drag this one over here, and um, you can see. Um, let's say you want to make a quiz or let's say you want to create um a a poll right you can just say you can just drag this one here this way right bring this guy here and um make sure it's on round corner i just want to show you what we created earlier now you can see now select your shadow to apply the same inner glow to it inner glow so this one is inner edge. Select, make sure it's on inner glue. Now select this and increase it this way. All right. So once you do that, you can basically um, select your ellipse tool, 
draw this way then you can actually you know give it this um let me let's give it a dark a dark shade of a dark shade of um a dark shade of orange maybe something like this all right so we can give it this shade now what you're going to do is select everything and duplicate it this way Control r to replicate i can just say um you can just say a bring it here and give it light yellow or white then reduce the you can change the font if you want but this is not what we're aimed for in this class i'm just actually you know trying to do this so you understand if you want to create a pole and this is this will help you pop your design like it makes your design pop you understand now look at this you can just add your text you can add your text over here add your text over here you can see this is basically how to create this glass it looks like a glass right because you can see through it so this is how to create a glass morphism um effect in corridor draw if you have any question please deem it fit to you know um drop me a comment in the comment section below and for those of you who are returning subscribers i always appreciate you if you're new here my name is jim like i said if you have any question make sure you're subscribed to get an answer you understand give this video a thumbs up and see you guys in my next video